<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to this episode of Bedroom Diaries. My name is Tobe, Tobe the Diva, and of course you know that you're in my bedroom. It's always interesting when you meet a total stranger and they lighten up your day, your week, your month, your life. Early this year, it was a 90 year old woman in church. She's actually visually impaired. And there was just this really beautiful relationship that she had with her husband. It was just so, you know, something to look forward to in my head. I'm like, goals, goals, goals. And then recently, it was a lady that I met a total of four times. The first time I met her, it was Halloween and she was so excited to have candy to give to her son, to share with people on the bus. And then there was another lady on the bus who looked very, very tired and exhausted. Like, you know, she looked like life was punching her and she had a baby with her. Now, this inspiring lady that I met made it a point to play with her kid, make her kid laugh, give her kid candy. It was just really beautiful and you could tell that the other woman absolutely appreciated that someone was taking out the time to make her child feel brighter about Halloween. The second time that I met her, she and I happened to be listening to the same radio station for some weird reason. And when we realized, she made me dance on the street with her and her son. Like we were just right there on the street doing fake synchronized dancing. <laughs> The people who were passing around, they were like, oh yeah, you know, you guys are so excited. And it was, it was good. It felt good. It felt very liberating, can I say? And then the third time that I met her, she handed me this gift bag. Can you see it? Yeah, this gift bag. She had just bought it and it was two in the set. So she just literally split it into two and said, here, have one. Give someone a gift for Christmas. She just didn't think of giving me a gift. She thought of giving me a gift so that I could give someone a gift. So it just wasn't about me. It was about the chain effect of what she was doing. And the final time that I met her, we got on the bus. Before we got on the bus, she said, hey, you get on the bus first. I've got something up my sleeves. And I'm like, okay. We got on the bus and I turned around and I saw her hand a little paper pack to the driver. It had food in it. I don't know what kind of food, but you know, it certainly had food in it. And you could see from the smile on the driver's face that that was something he really appreciated. She just made his day or his week. You know, you never know. But then she definitely did something good for that driver that day. And it just, you know, made me feel good. Four times I met this lady and four times she showed me what it meant to do a random act of kindness to someone just to brighten up their day and brighten up the day of other people who even see you do this because it's not every time she did these things for me but then just being around her, being kind to others made my day bright. When last did someone make your day sparkle, a total stranger? Well, I'm hoping that this video makes you think of something random and kind you can do to a random stranger that you meet. Let's just spread some kindness and beauty and sparkle in the air this season, okay? Have a wonderful time. See you again on another episode of Bedroom Diaries. Be kind to one another. 